What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I think will be good for most of you. For some it may be hard because today besides not worrying about stupid stuff like hand movement, I'm going to also be asking you to stop worrying about the life draft known as comparisons. Now hear me out here. I know some of you as soon as you hear the words new product, your first instinct is to try and compare it to everything on a taco truck, but today we need to just push all that aside and simply just talk about a new product and whether it's a good choice for you or not. I think this is gonna be good, a real healing moment for everyone. Let's get started. All right, so today we're talking about the new stuff coming from Flagship. And for those that don't know, this new line of products, the Streamline line of products, is a new venture that Wade and Team Flagship have brought out to somewhat bridge the gap between homebrewed products and lab-made salon products. For starters, each of these products are fully designed by Wade by hand, but then are transferred to a lab for larger production. Now today we're looking at the matte paste, and surprise, I'm also giving you the first look at the traditional pomade as well. That one is actually already fully transferred over to a lab, but the matte paste is not quite yet. That is still for the moment being made in-house, but it will eventually be transferred over, which is actually a huge process. So just so everyone's clear on how that's going and what's being made and where. Now today we are gonna cover the matte paste fully in depth. My reasoning behind that has to do with a review I watched from James Bowie or The Pomp. Let me start by saying I have mad respect for James, not that I bet he'd really care if I didn't since I'm really small time compared to him, but really I truly am in no way trying to disrespect him when I say that I felt he only showcased this product from one angle. It was a great angle, but I felt like there were some other benefits or ways to use this product that were left out which I am going to show you today. So we are gonna talk about three different ways that I use the flagship matte paste. But before that, we obviously gotta figure out what's going on inside this product. So let's head on over to the desk and get a closer look. Here we go. Coming across my desk today is the two new releases from the flagship pomade company. We're looking at their new Streamline product line today, and the purpose of this line is to nicely blend the two worlds of homebrewed and lab-made salon products into a new area of continued innovation. This step towards bridging the gap is very cool to see as a reviewer that has had extensive experience with both sides of the coin. Today we're looking at two products that really couldn't be more different from each other, but hopefully at the end of this video you'll have a full understanding of each one and all that they offer. Let's start with the matte paste. According to Flagship, their new matte paste is a totally new take on a product of this type with a vegan formula that provides a medium to firm hold, depending on how much you use, and obviously a matte finish. It's also described to work in most hair types and perform with high volume. This product also comes in a nice and fresh pedigree, lemon, lime, and blood orange scent, and actually comes in a smaller than usual 3 ounce plastic jar, with also a cheaper than usual price of $18, including shipping inside the US. Looking inside the jar, we're met with a very thick, gray, waxy product. This right here is the first indicator that it's not comparable to most other matte paste. Coming out of the jar, it's really thick, but it still comes out without too much force and then breaks down in the hand with normal pressure. Inside the hand, though, we can feel that major stickiness and tack from the product begin to show itself. Next up is the traditional pomade. Again, according to the brewer, the new traditional pomade is their take on the old school oil base designed to provide all the things people love about this type of product without the difficult washout. It features a vegan formula with medium hold, medium shine, and a nice and light bergamot and black pepper scent. Unlike the matte paste though, this one does come in a four ounce black plastic jar and sells for $19 with free shipping in the US. Looking inside the jar, we're met with a typical looking oil based pomade. Typical, that is, until you try to scoop it out. This one is quite the knuckle buster with the scoop, so using the back of your thumb is the easiest way I've found to get it out. Once you get it out and into the hand, moderate pressure is all that's needed to break it down. I did notice that it took a little longer to break it down than usual with the little pieces that just needed a little bit more love. And now on to the demo. For the first demo, we're starting with just plain dry hair. This is how I used it the most during my testing, and here I'll show you that you definitely can, I repeat, 
can use it on dry hair. Using the directions on the jar as my guide, what I'm doing here is working in little bits at a time, just applying it as I would any other product and making sure it's worked in. Now there is some tug here, but with such a small amount, that tug is reduced drastically. I repeat this process about three times or so until I get the feeling I have enough hold present there and I begin to style. What amazes me here is even though the product is so sticky and tacky, the hair is still so free flowing and not weighed down at all. You can see evidence of this in the final style here. For the second demo, we're going to be doing my personal favorite way to style this one, and that's pre-styling. Starting over with the hair here, I'm going to be adding in about a fingertip of the product, and then it's all about the blow dry action. You can see here how it instantly just takes control of the hair, but remains super slick and overall soft, so the comb doesn't tug at all. I'm also going to blast it here, now that it's all dry, with cold air, which will help seal in the style and help it last a bit longer too. Now honestly, we could just leave it alone here as this is a pretty great end result, but I do usually add in one more scoop here as a post styler just to provide a bit more of a polished look. Again, it's all about moderation here and using small scoops. Doing this makes for an awesome final look with this method. For the final demo with the matte paste, we're going to do it on damp hair since a lot of you were wondering how that look compares to just dry hair. The benefit of this method is you get less tug, which I'm sure for some people will work awesome. For me, it's a lot like the pre-styling method, but of course we're not blow drying. Adding it into some towel dried hair obviously allows for super easy styling, but I do think you're also sacrificing a bit of the texture and volume. Now let's demo the traditional pomade. This is quite the hard scoop, but once you get it all broken down and ready to create some magic, adding it into damp hair is actually quite easy. I'm using about three scoops here, and I noticed that for a petro-free formula, it's extremely easy to use. The hair sticks together and combs through very smooth, and we can see evidence of this in the final style. All right, so now we've gotten a closer look at the products, got all the info, and we've seen how they perform in my hair in multiple fashions. You really should have a pretty good understanding of the matte pace now too, but let's get a quick look at how things look throughout the day, because that's very important. We are going a little bit longer than usual today, so for time's sake, I really just filmed up an endurance test on the pre and post styled look and how it held up after eight hours total. We can see that overall it's held up pretty good. The biggest thing I noticed is the volume has gone down just a little bit, but with it being eight hours in, I think everyone can agree that's really not bad. For me, it does have a little bit of a different feeling to it versus an oil base that contains Petro. This one has kind of a, a gritty texture to it, but as performance goes, it keeps up with those regular oil-based formulas just fine. Moving on to the washout. Now for the oil base, we already know it's a Petro-free formula, so that already tells us that the washout should be fairly easy. But how easy it was, I just really wasn't prepared for. It totally rinsed out with water. I remember standing there in the shower, the water hitting my head, fully expecting to need to shampoo and then just being totally blindsided by the fact that it was just totally gone. I mean, it's kind of an awkward situation if you think about it. You stand in there, you're fully prepared and committed to shampooing, but then you realize that the product's already out. So what do you do? Do you move forward with the shampoo? Do you not? I was not prepared for this kind of dilemma. The matte paste didn't quite come out that easy, but it still wasn't a hassle. I didn't feel like the water took it out, but one shampoo had it totally taken care of. No issue there. Again, for time's sake, I'm not going to dive too deep into the scents. I will say I don't feel like either product has a a real strong scent. I couldn't actually smell it in the hair and overall I did really like both scents and you know that says a lot because I have a pretty nasty scent allergy. Overall I'd have to say that both the traditional pomade and the matte paste totally surprised the crap out of me. They both have things within them that didn't perform the way I expected. The matte paste for example, it's so sticky and thick and tacky but it doesn't weigh the hair down 
at all. It leaves it soft and free flowing. I really don't know any other clay that does that. And the traditional pomade for as much hold and shine that it offers to also rinse out with just water is pretty exceptional in my opinion. This is pretty much the reason I wanted you guys to take a second and step away from the comparisons for a bit. Most people that I saw already trying to compare this to something hadn't even tried it yet and were already trying to compare it to something that was just way off base. This did not perform like O'Dowd's, Sheer Revival, Rock River, any of the usual suspects. And I know some of you are going to say, well, anything's comparable, but my goal isn't to compare products just for the sake of comparing them because that's a total waste of time. Remember, I am not in the business to hype these products either. I personally can't stand it when people do that. So I encourage you to take a look at what I've presented to you here. And if you feel like this might be a good fit for you, pick it up. If not, pass on it. If you are interested, both of these products go on sale tonight, April 30th at 7 p.m. Central Time at the flagship website, which I will put in the description for you to check out. Again, this was not a sponsored video, so keep that in mind too. I'm not trying to persuade anyone to do anything. I'm just trying to provide the best review I can. And if this video helped you out, go ahead and drop me a like and a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel for new videos coming very soon. And that is it for today. I want to thank you again for stopping by the channel today. I'll be back with you guys again very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.